Romi Jahangir Baba was an Indian nuclear physicist and professor of physics at the Tata Institute of Fundamental Research (TIFR). Colloquially known as father of the Indian nuclear program, Baba was also the founding director of the Atomic Energy Establishment Trombay (AEET), which is now named the Baba Atomic Research Center in his honor. TIFR and AEET were the cornerstone of Indian development of nuclear weapons which he also supervised as a director. Baba is generally acknowledged as the father of Indian nuclear power. Moreover, he is credited with formulating a strategy of focusing on extracting power from the country's vast thorium reserves. rather than its meager uranium reserves this thorium focused strategy was in marked contrast to all other countries in the world the approach proposed by baba to achieve this strategic objective became india's three stage nuclear power program baba was awarded the adams prize in 1942 and the padma bhushan in 1954 He was also nominated for the Nobel Prize for Physics in 1951 and 1953 to 1956. He was born into a prominent wealthy Parsi family. His father was Jehangir Harmuzji Baba, a well-known Parsi lawyer, and his mother was Mehrin's daughter of Bika Ji Framji Pandey. and the granddaughter of the renowned philanthropist Dinso Petit of Bombay Homi's paternal aunt Meherbai was married to Dorab Tata the eldest son of industrialist Jamshed ji Nasirwan ji Tata He received his early studies at Bombay's Cathedral and John Cannon School and entered Elphinstone College at age 15 after passing his senior cambridge examination with honors he then attended the royal institute of science in 1927 before joining govil and kais college in cambridge and was a scholar till 1929 1930 he enrolled for mechanical tripos in cambridge since his father and uncle wanted him to become an engineer and join the tata industries but his interest soon shifted to theoretical physics and mathematics he wrote letters to his father to let him pursue physics his parents agreed to let him pursue theoretical physics provided he devoted himself first to his mechanical tripos and got a first class he took the exam and passed with first class in june 1930 and was free to devote himself to his interest in theoretical physics afterwards he excelled in his mathematical studies under paul dirac to complete the mathematics tripos at cambridge he joined cavendish laboratory where he obtained his phd with r h flower as his thesis supervisor he held the rus paul traveling studentship in mathematics from 1932 to 1934 during which he visited Enrico Fermi at the Institute of Physics in Rome In January 1933 Baba received his doctorate in nuclear physics after publishing his first scientific paper which helped him win the Isaac Newton studentship in 1934 which he held for the next 3 years In 1936 He was awarded a senior studentship of the 1851 exhibition which helped him continue his work at Cambridge until the outbreak of World War II in 1939. Baba returned to India for his annual vacation in 1939, but the outbreak of World War II in September of 1939 made him change his plans. He joined the Indian Institute of Science in Bangalore. where a readership of theoretical science was especially created for him Nobel laureate Professor C V Raman 
who was at IISC at that time, was impressed by him. During this time, Baba played a key role in convincing the Congress Party's senior leaders, most notably Jawaharlal Nehru, who later served as India's first Prime Minister, to start the ambitious nuclear program. As part of this vision, Baba established the Cosmic Ray Research Unit at the Institute, began to work on the theory of point particles movement while independently conducting research on nuclear weapons in 1944. When Homi Jahangir Baba was working at the Indian Institute of Science, there was no institute in India which had the necessary facilities for original work in nuclear physics, cosmic rays, high energy physics and other frontiers of knowledge in physics. This prompted him to send a proposal in March 1944 to the Sir Dorabji Tata Trust for establishing a vigorous school of research in fundamental physics. The trustees of Sir Dorabji Jamsetji Tata Trust decided to accept Baba's proposal and financial responsibility for starting the institute in April 1944. Bombay was chosen as the location as the government of Bombay showed interest in becoming a joint founder of the proposed institute. In 1945, he established the Tata Institute of Fundamental Research in Bombay and the Atomic Energy Commission in 1948, serving as its first chairman. In 1948, Nehru led the appointment of Baba as the director of the nuclear program and tasked him to develop the nuclear weapons soon after in the 1950s baba represented india in iaea conferences and served as president of the united nations conference on the peaceful uses of atomic energy in geneva switzerland in 1955 He was elected a foreign honorary member of the American Academy of Arts and Sciences in 1958. During this time, he intensified his lobbying for the development of nuclear weapons. Soon after the Sino-Indo War, Baba aggressively and publicly began to call for the nuclear weapons. Baba gained international prominence after deriving a correct expression for the probability of scattering positrons by electrons a process now known as baba scattering his major contribution included his work on compton scattering r process and furthermore the advancement of nuclear physics he was awarded the padma bhushan by government of india in 1954 He later served as the member of the Indian Cabinet's Scientific Advisory Committee and provided the pivotal role to Vikram Sarabhai to set up the Indian National Committee for Space Research. In January 1966, Baba died in a plane crash near Mont Blanc while heading to Vienna, Austria to attend a meeting of the International Atomic Energy Agency's scientific advisory committee many possible theories have been advanced for the air crash including a claim that the central intelligence agency the cia was involved in order to paralyze india's nuclear program an indian diplomatic bag containing calendars and a personal letter was recovered near the crash site in 2012 Gregory Douglas, a journalist who taped his interviews with former CIA operative Robert Crowley for 4 years, published their transcripts in a book called Conversations with the Crow. Crowley writes that CIA was responsible for assassinating Homi Baba. He said that a bomb in the cargo section of the plane exploded mid-air. bringing down the commercial Boeing 707 airliner in the Alps with little traces left to be retrieved. 
he also claimed that the us was aware of indian nuclear progress